always played second fiddle to its German competitors. On this edition of Test Drive, the Volkswagen Passat. In redesigning the Passat, Volkswagen tackled its key competition head on. Most had a distinct size advantage. The first impression of the new car is one of substance and size. The latest Passat is almost five meters long, it's within a whisker of being two meters wide, and it rides on a long 2803 millimeter wheelbase. While it's listed as being a mid-sized ride, the reality is it verges on being full-sized. The Passat back seat is absolutely enormous. There's plenty of stretch out space, plenty of headroom. The only thing you've got to watch, don't draw the center spot because there's nowhere to put your feet. The base Passat is powered by a 2.5 liter five cylinder engine. While it manages to push 170 horsepower and 177 pound feet of torque, it really does have its work cut out for it in this full bodied sedan. Mat the gas from a standstill and it takes 8.2 seconds to reach 100k. Certainly not snail-like, but far from fast. The optional 3.6 litre V6 makes an enormous difference. It transforms the Passat from sedan to sport sedan. As with all new Volkswagens, the cabin of this Passat has been upgraded appreciably. You'll now find nice soft touch materials, very nice two-tone finish, comfortable front seats, and if you go with the high-end model, you get a ton of equipment. Power moonroof, a navigation system that includes a touch screen, and a very loud and proud Fender audio system. The oddity, no backup camera. When it comes to ride and handling, the Passat does not feel as large as its dimensions suggest. Through the pylons, the front struts and multiple rear links dialed out all but a few degrees of body roll, the response to steering input is crisp, and understeer, well, it really only surfaces when the driver takes liberties. This Passat trunk is absolutely enormous. 15.9 cubic feet, and it benefits from 60-40 split folding rear seats. However, not everything is as it should be. These hinges, they will crush anything placed beneath them. The other problem is a small one, but it stands out like a sore thumb. The left hinge has got a nice plastic cover on it because it hides the wire that feeds the license plate light. The right hinge, nothing on it. It's a bare hinge. Now, come on, this is supposed to be an entry-level luxury car. Get with the program and put plastic on both hinges. As for the rest of it, the Passat comes with a full slate of airbags and electronic helpers. The latter all rely on the electronic stability control system. The anomaly is that as with the Jetta, there's no on-off switch, which means the driver has no way of overriding its action. Is this a pain, especially on a snowy road, or is it something that really does not matter? The answer at the end of motoring's long-term test. As with the Jetta, a lot of loyal owners are not going to like the Americanization of the Passat, but get over it. It feels like a European car, it looks like a European car, it just has size on its side now. As for the future, well this car is going to enter our long-term test fleet, and over the next few months we're going to look at the various different powertrains. At the end of it, we'll get back to you with a report. <laughs>